I managed to fix it finally. Unfortunately, I had to <coughs> reselect all the 20 units in the squad. Most of them became the same. They have the same guys and the same women for the most part. There were some that were different, unfortunately, because uh, every time you enter the headquarters, there are different recruits available. Most of them are the same. There are some that are replaced each time you restart. So, so we didn't get exactly the same. I believe the, the ones I got the second try were the ones uh, that I liked the most. But unfortunately we got some others uh, replacing some of the characters that we picked. Okay, we will continue now. I've saved after I've picked my squad so I don't need to do that part again because the game could also crash there so let's view this episode <coughs> How'd your enlistment go? No problems? I registered as a tank pilot and mechanic. Maintaining and operating the Edelweiss will be my responsibility from now on. I think it's nice that we'll all be on the same squad together. I think so too. So what are you up to now? The tank's hangar space is just through here. I was just carrying some Ragnite fuel back. It's used to power the tank, and also for the turret-mounted cannon rounds. I guess I'm just more used to seeing it in street lamps and medical compounds. Seems like everything is Ragnite-powered these days. That stuff is everywhere. Not enough of it for some people, though. It's the source of a lot of conflict. They say the Empire's invading only to get at all the Ragnite in Galleon soil. Oh, that's right. I had something to give you, Welks. What's this? Father's flare gun. It was in the barn, but I thought you might have some use for it. Another hand-me-down. I gave it a once-over. It might be old, but it's still serviceable. I didn't mean... I just can't believe I'm a tank operator now. Thank you for this, Ease. I'll do a spot check on the Edelweiss now, to make sure it's ready to go at any time. Alright, we'll get going for now then. See you later. Alright, we'll need to go back to the headquarters. New episode has been added. They want to go back to the headquarters. Choose a tab within book mode to view its contents. Choose a chapter you wish to read and continue the story. Headquarters, thank you. Yes, we'll go back. And uh, can go to command room. Hello, Welkin. Here to fine tune your squad. Yes. So we can check our troops. We have Lisha Melchert, we have Nancy, a scout, we have Ramona Linton, a scout, we have Juno Koran, a scout, we have Sherry Steenen, a scout, we have Brigitte Stark, a shock trooper, we have Selena Smilton, Selena Smilton, a shock trooper. Hans Salinger, shock trooper. I believe we, we got less of the female shock troopers this time. We have Lynn, another shock trooper, a different female this time. We have Eddie Nelson, a shock trooper. Dorothy Howard, a shock trooper. Argo Potter, a lancer. Neil Sterden, a lancer. Hector Calvey, Hector Calvary, Hector Calvary, a lancer. Audrey Hatina, a lancer. 
the Rose and Aselden, Lancer, and the Dallas Wyatt, an Engineer, Ramsey Clement, an Engineer, Cesare Regard, Sniper, and Marina Wolfston, Sniper, to go to different uh, second sniper this time, unfortunately. Check if we have anything else interesting here. Here we have a shock trooper, which is too much of a kid. Okay. No, we have no, no new ones here. We we'll exit the command room. Come back anytime you need to change your lineup, Lieutenant. Okay, we'll go to training. Field. Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots! Train all you want! I've got all day! Okay. Level up, everyone. Level two. No pain, no gain! Level up. Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the Lancers! Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the Snipers! Alright, nice. We'll upgrade the scouts again. I got no use for tears! Sweat! 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 Level up. Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! Alright. than this push those limits All right Next training field come back anytime you're ready to sweat we'll go to the R&D facility upgrade the tanks and the weapons welcome bro i'm stoked you're here man what can i do you for develop Weapons, rifles, we'll give our rifles an accuracy boost, one. All set for you, bro. It's done. Nice. Machine guns for the shock troopers, we'll have firepower boost, one. Here you go, bro. All done. We have the sniper rifles, accuracy boost one for them as well. Here you go, bro. All done. And the anti tank lances, we have firepower boost one. All set for you, bro. It's done. Uniforms can use the uniform upgrade one. All set for you, bro. It's done. And the uh, last suit, the armor replica one. Whew, it's done. This one's perfect, bro. Okay, and hand grenades. I don't think there were any there that we used. Edelweiss, the tank. We look for body, enha body enhancements. <coughs> we can reinforce the barrel. Yes, we'll do that. Here you go, bro. All done. And the armor. All set for you, bro. It's done. Nice. Okay. Tr 
secrets and other Predator upgrade one. Spare belt. Tech support. Site upgrade. Okay, now we will go for the threads and other. And uh, go for the hardened plate. Here you go, bro. All done. And that's it. Okay, we're done here. So let's exit. Come back again soon, bro. I mean it, man. Okay, let's go to the squad barracks. Inspect our squad. So here we have their surnames and first names. Velkin or Velkin Gunter, Tank Commander, Revelisha. Melchert, Scout level 3, Nancy Defour, Scout at level 3, Ramona Linton, Scout at level 3, Vuno Coran, Scout at level 3, Sherry Steenan, Scout at level 3, R uh, Rosie or Brigitte Stark, Shock Trooper at level 2, Ev Salinas Milton, Shock Trooper at level 2, Hannes Salinger, Shock Trooper at level 2, Evelyn, Shock Trooper, level 2. We have Edwin Nelson, Shock Trooper at level 2. We have Dorothy Howard, Shock Trooper at level 2. So we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, se uh, six uh, Shock Troopers. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 5, uh, we have 5 Scouts and 6 Shock Troopers, 1 Tank Commander. Then we have Larry Potter, Lancer at level 2, Nils Derden, Lancer at level 2, Hector Calvey, Lancer at level 2, and Audrey Heidinger, Lancer at level 2. We have Rosina Selden, Lancer at level 2, Dallas Wyatt, an engineer at level 2, Ramsey Clement, an engineer at level 2, and Cesare Regard, a sniper at level 2. Marina Wolfstein is level 2. You need more snipers and more engineers and more female uh, lancers too. Okay, let's exit the barracks. Go to book mode. Yes. yes, it didn't crash. Good. Save. Story. We'll do that viewed episode this episode, yes. I'll cut to the chase. Here's your mission. The Great Vassal Bridge was just taken by the Empire. It's a key strategic position. The Great Vassal Bridge? It's a major drawbridge crossing the canal in Vassal, just outside the capital. That bridge is a part of the central transit artery, leading into Randgris. Our mission is to take it back. The Empire has been running a blitz, with their shock troops outrunning their defense. Our 3rd Regiment will retake the bridge before defensive reinforcements can arrive. How quaint! The militia holding a little strategy meeting of its own! How long were you planning on hiding out in here, Verrat? My apologies, sir. We'll depart soon. Whatever. They're just country mice. It's not like they'll be much help. More help, perhaps, than your army unit that couldn't hold the bridge in the first place. Hey! 
Regardless, Vassal remains a critical position. We'll reclaim it immediately. Well, all good. See that you do. Who was that? General Damon, commander of the Central Forces. Central Forces? That's the army branch the militia was folded into, right? That's right. They say the general's an aristocrat. He looks down on the common militia. That doesn't make any sense. Right. Now that the war's begun, we all need to band together and fight to keep Gallia safe. Who cares at this point whether you're in the army or the militia? It's ridiculous. Gentlemen, let's return to the mission. We'll begin by taking back the Western Bank to gain a foothold for reclaiming the bridge. Lieutenant Gunther, I'm assigning Squad 7 to this mission. It's your first maneuver, so be smart. Yes, Captain. The other squads are on patrol. Stay sharp and be ready to help take back the bridge. I'm counting on all of you out there. Now move out. All right. New episode has been added. Skirmishers tab is now available. About skirmishers. Unlike those within the main storyline, the battles found under the skirmishers tab can be played any number of times. Ah, perfect for amassing experience and uh, research fees. Try them if you're feeling underpowered. Press the dever button to open the menu, then choose skirmishers from the tab select menu and pick the battle you wish to fight. New skirmishers are added as you progress through the main plot. And the difficulty of each skirmish can be set freely. Just be careful. Do not a plot battle. Soldiers lost during skirmishes can still die. Okay. New skirmish battle has been added. Okay. View this episode, yes. Here are details on the current operation. Imperial force is deployed in a defensive formation around the camp within Vassal's urban center. You will sign your squad position split between a city team and a riverside team. Okay. City team will protect the base camp while the riverside team strikes the enemy. Your objective is to occupy the enemy's camp. Defeat the enemy units defending the camp and get to the Flag hung about their camp and hook by it. Okay. Beginning with this operation, you will be responsible for assigning your soldiers to their combat positions. Before commencing the operation, choose the position units command to view a list of deployable units. Then, once you've selected a unit you'd like to deploy, choose the position you wish them to take. Okay. Intelligence reports say they have tanks stationed in the sit area there. Would be behoove would behoove you to include an anti-tank unit on the city team to facilitate its neutralization. I would also recommend you add units with high action points such as scouts and engineers to your riverside strike force. Okay, once you've got your teams in place, select the deploy command to begin the operation. Okay, now it's time to get those soldiers of yours in position. Victory the enemy base camp is captured. Failure the enemy captures Gallia's base camp. All Ally soldiers and the reserves are killed. Velkin dies. 20 turns pass. So Velkin is not allowed to die. Okay, we will uh, position units. Yeah, 
food. side can't remove Vulcan need lancers here We're prepared to commence the operation. I look forward to good news from you. Me too. We'll see how this will go. Split into two teams, offensive and defensive. Squad 7, move out! Player face. All right, it's our first mission. Let's split into two teams, City and Riverside. I'll lead the Riverside team towards the enemy encampment with the Edelweiss. Shock Trooper here. Leave the offense to me. City team, your job is to guard the base. Be ready for anything, including tanks. How long you think I've been an anti-tank man? A couple of tanks ain't no sweat. That's a spirit, Largo. Now, let's move out! Listen closely. This information could save your life. Art occupying camps. <coughs> camps found across the battlefield grant your forces a number of advantages. Units stationed near camps get a boost to their defense and to the amount of hit points recovered at the start of each turn. Even tanks, which usually get no hit point bonus will regain some hit points at each turn's start. Weapons with limited ammo like grenades, mortars and lances are also replenished. There are enemy units around the camp, however, you cannot occupy it until they have been defeated. Effectively defending your camps while taking down the enemies will uh, enemies will pave your way to victory. nature. Okay. Move 
Yeah, there's. My turn, Ace, okay? Yeah. Enemy unit spotted. Enemies here. Fuck it, disappeared. Too. Very good. <laughs> face there. Delicia. Let's do this thing. This girl, she's a Trooper. Just beyond the next corner. Here I come. Missed, probably. Do my very best. Here I come. Let's kill that guy. Man down. Everybody, be careful. Successful. Okay. Right away. Ew, boys. It's our own secret garden. Somewhere. Okay. This should do it. Try to time your shots carefully. Here I go. Here I come. All right, didn't go too well. Look out for attackers from the alleys. The Great Basel Bridge is up ahead. Would probably hit him. He did die. I'll make this look good. Okay. 
wasted her turn. No, we aren't done yet. We have one more turn. Ah, uh, we can't move them anymore this time. Okay, we're done. Enemy face. Leader units. A command point symbol is displayed beside the names of some units and their their profile window. These units are known as leaders and they exist among both allied and enemy forces. Squad 7 Alicia is one such leader. By including them on the field they'll each uh, add one command point to your total, allowing you to control more units per turn. If the leader is defeated however, that's the command point is uh, subtracted from the pool. Keep your leader units protected while actively seeking out and destroying enemy leaders to reduce their command points pool. zero fall to the ground in critical condition and cannot be controlled using command points. Leaving a unit in this state for three turns or allowing an enemy to touch them results in their being incapacitated. Except in very few exceptional cases, this means that the soldier is dead and unable to be used again. In order to prevent this, an ally must make contact with the down unit before this tragic end befalls them. Okay, when a unit reaches an ally in critical condition, they call the medic, safely evacuates and restores them to health. Okay, we need to do that. Player face. But orders. Squad 7's leader, Velkin is able to issue special commands called orders. Orders cost command points to use, but some yield squad-wide effects that can be invaluable when used twice To issue an order, open the menu in command mode uh, by pressing the whatever button, then select orders. Choose a specific order you'd like to issue. Some orders will affect all units, others require you to select the target. New orders can be learned by leveling up your unit classes on the training field. They'll make the battles ahead easier. I think we'll have to move uh, see Rams uh, unit list. Engineer, we had only two engineers in this battle. We need to oh, right, control. gotcha. Ramsey. Mm. 
Okay, we'll move this guy up. We've got another customer. So put the tough lancer. Use those sandbags when you can. I go. This guy Maybe not. Am 
might actually let them defend. Yeah, they will defend. Enemy face. Player face. Okay. About ammunition. Each weapon holds a set quantity of ammo. That equates to the number of times that weapon can be fired in battle. For example, if the ammo reads 3, that weapon can be fired 3 times before it is out of ammo and therefore unusable. Weapons with limited ammunition include anti tank lancers, sniper rifles, grenades, mortars other explosives and so on. There are three ways to regain spent ammo. One is to wait a turn. Each turn one use worth of ammo is restored automatically. Second is recovery by proximity to an allied camp. Units standing within camps are restocked to full capacity each turn. Third is restocking via engineer unit. Uh, every ally an engineer makes contact with will be restocked to full capacity, okay. Keep these reloading methods in mind and a watch on remaining ammo levels to ensure your squad never comes up short of on ammo, okay. Entering combat! We've control the Edelweiss. So we'll move this girl around. Enemy sighted. Enemy attack. Up. All units place for it. Uh, we have no defense. Ain't no stopping me. Strong wield. This place is insane. Fall back. Shit. What the fuck? She got stuck. Then we'll skip her. She can't move anymore. I, I was stupid there. I forgot they had a limited movement. My turn, okay? Okay. Um, this one will be able to reach the area. Shit. Um, let's exit immediately. I'm on my way. Shit, motherfuckers. We need to heal. Alicia. Thank you. Okay. I think we will not do anything. 
Simón. Damage minimal. The tank won't return. Oh, they have another tank coming. Gah! Damn tanks busted right through the stinking wall. Well, it's my turn now. Stick this in your pipe and smoke it. Stay sharp. Tanks can break through crumbling walls and trample down sandbags and trees. Player face. Let's do this thing. Ain't no stopping me. I'm on my way. Okay, we need to destroy the tank. Ooh, I think we managed to destroy it. What are your orders? You're doing well. Just keep it. Okay, Alicia. Come on! Ain't no stopping me! Alright, we'll troll Rosie. Here I come! Take out this grunt. Nice work! Now Alicia. Moving out! Combat. Straight through this. Jesus Christ, it's a tank, we can't challenge that. Okay, I think we are done. No, we have one guy that can handle tanks here. Lord Just watch this.
Minor damage sustained. Feeling it here. Boom! All right. Here we go. Out. Man down, everybody be careful. Don't move. She can't attack anymore, so we will move her back. Do all you can to minimize casualties. Very best. Please act 
Looks like there's something in that building's shadow. Fuck. Troops, we just need to take the plaza. Entering combat. Edelweiss will do that. Okay? Okay, Lish, I will do it. Complete. We took their base. All right, we got seven thousand five hundred experience and eleven thousand three hundred money. That's really good. The new episode has been added. You did you this episode? Yes. Yeah. by any chance, are ya? Yes, that's us. <laughs> Bingo! I've been looking for you. Meaning you, hot stuff, on the tank. Me? Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me, I... That must make you Lieutenant Gunther, am I right? Um, yeah. Yes, that's uh, me. Daisy. What? 
Hey, you can't... Ah, oh, nice to meet you, too. Now, let's get right to the questions. So, you're the son of the great General Gunther, huh? You look awfully young. How old are you, anyway? Must be your first war, huh? What's been the hardest uh, experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest. I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. Hey, lady! This is a combat zone. Excuse me, but what are you doing here anyway? Hey, give me a break, will ya? Scoops are near danger, and I'm near Scoops. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story, a good story, and you guys are it. So, you... Uh, you're a reporter? Very good, I'm a reporter, yes. I've been assigned to Squad 7 to conduct a series of interviews, thank you. Now, let's get back to those questions, shall we? Ugh. New episode has been added. Distrust. Let's check that one too. Ugh. Now he's giving interviews? Who does he think he is? Ooh, look at him. Son of some big hero. Please. He's still a schoolboy. No kidding. One little win and he's the new Grand Duke. Ah, oh, I hate kids. Ah, whatever, he'll learn soon enough. Only one thing matters out there in the field, and that's experience. Chapter 4. Operation Cloudburst. Alright. New episode has been added. Personnel tab is now available. Weaponry tab is now available. Glossary tab is now available. But personnel, weaponry and glossary. <clears throat> These three tabs offer information on the game's cast, arms they wield and the things and places that form their world. Open the menu with the uh, some button. Then in the tab select menu, select the resource you would like to read. The contents are automatically updated as you progress through the game's plot. So check back on a periodic basis. Puzzle Front Street is now available. Okay. War Cemetery is now available. Personnel tab has been updated. The weaponry tab has been updated. Glossary tab has been updated. Okay. Save the game. And uh, tab select. You can go to the personnel tab first. Revelkin. You can change the outfit. Civilian outfit or his uniform. Set the camera. You can move his model too. See. can even zoom in. Move him down. That's cool. Okay, so that's the main character, of course. Age 22. Okay, we have Alicia. Twenty 
3, when you're older than the main character. He only has one look, his uniform. Since his initial conscription, <coughs> he has survived countless missions, making him the most experienced of the sevens. <coughs> Rosie. Corporal, age 27. Squad 7 shock trooper, formerly a bartender and songstress, she still bears the nickname Rosie, given to her by her bargoing regulars. Okay, Grace. Private first class, age 20, mechanic working in the militia's R&D facility. His primary responsibilities included uh, weapons maintenance and repairs. Leon. <coughs> Private first class, age 20, a member of the militia's R&D team. His chief task lay in the development of new weapons. General Damon. age 54, born into a family with a long history of military service, he now commands the Central Galleon force, including the militia. Marta. Age 38, managed the Gunter family like her mother before her. She helped raise Welkin and the Sarah since birth, as well as five of her own children presence in the Gunter house since she herself was a child, Martha became a surrogate parent and source of assurance the orphan Wilkin and the Sarah. Martha's baby. Martha's son, born inside the Edelweiss on the day rule fell to the Empire. He is Martha's fifth child. Drill Instructor So 
Sergeant, age 48, Chief Drill Instructor at the Militia Training Grounds. His stern countenance and harsh words haunt the dreams of soldiers near and far. Belgian. No image. Elkin's late father, widely regarded as a great hero for his contributions to preserving Gallia's independence during the First European War. Tamer. <coughs> no image. Sarah's biological father and a gifted Darksen inventor who contributed much to furthering Gallian technology. <coughs> he built the Edelweiss for, for his friend after the European World War I. Alex. This is Alex. Didn't recruit him. He counts as a special character. He's got 7 shock trooper, age 17. His uh, leap before you look brashness and uh, flighty, carefree nature have earned him the name Bird among his friends in the squad. Salinas. We have seven shock trooper age 24. Handsome and smooth, he was always popular with ladies. A bit of a Lotario, he's made many beautiful women cry. Hannes. He's got seven shock trooper age 21. Born in a richly wooded part of southern Gallia. He enlisted immediately upon hearing. He enlisted immediately upon hearing. His hometown was in the path of danger. Okay. Mika. So we have seven shock trooper, age 26. A warrior and a perfectionist. He lets even minor details get him. Making him a tiresome company, but a skilled machinist. Okay. Lynn. Square 7 shock trooper. <coughs> Age 20. Darkson, she was uh, in hiding. She was in hiding for fear of Imperial hunters until news that her lover, Carrie, in danger, Carl was in danger. He drove her to enlist. Okay. Ide. Squad 7 Shock Trooper, age 17, is a self-proclaimed actress growing up in a tiny rural town. She was quite the starlet, so proud she lacks coping skills. Aphra. Right, the one that looked like a kid. Squad 7 Shock Trooper, age 12. Yeah, she's just 12 years old. Okay, but looks way taller than that. She earned secondary military training credit at a record age. She was permitted to enlist after expressions uh, a strong will to fight. After expressing a strong will to fight. Okay. Gorgeous. Squad 7 Shock Trooper, age 18. Her family ran Ironworks factory in Fosen. She dreams of designing accessories 
made of precious metals. Nine. But seven shock trooper, eight twenty nine. I believe that a sun body, body. I believe that the sun body saves lives, motivates her to train her physique daily. In nine years, she has missed a day's workout. Hermes. Squad 7, Scout, age 25, as a child of the open field, dislikes cramped spaces. Slender and handsome, he is physically unable to not chat up a nearby, a nearby ladies. Melville. Squad 7, Scout, age 19. <coughs> Full of more uh, uh, pop than even he knew what to do with. He enlisted, friendly and upbeat, is quick in to, to befriend that much anyone. Okay, Ted. Squad 7, Scout, age 16. His greatest love was always making others laugh. This clowning persisted after enlistment. He is highly allergic to most metals. They are the older guy. No, he's just 35. He's got 7 scout, age 35. Considerate and polite to a fault. This dark and school teacher rarely displays his emotions. Anyway, Monty, Montley, uh, this guy, Squad 7 Scout, age 16, is a child of the Great Plains. He grew up around animals. An encounter with a longhorn stag left him deathly afraid of pointed objects. Okay. Nancy. Age 15, Squad 7 Scout. Her life on the family farm led her to grow up rather sheltered. She often enjoyed holding up in the stables with animals. Ramona. She looked better. Squad 7 Scout, <coughs> age 18, formerly a model for the popular Galleon Girl magazine. <coughs> magazine. Here she lives uh, her life devoted to fashion. Yeah. You know. <coughs> Squad 7 Scout, age 22. Classmate of Velkins at university, she possesses both brains and beauty in spades, making her the object of many a boy's desires. Right. Sherry. Squad 7 Scout, age 16. Trends and pretty, trends and pretty boys form the center of her world. Galleon girl, weekly her preferred fix for top notch photos of gold. Okay. Trends and pretty boys form the center of her world. With Galleon girl weekly, her preferred fix for top notch photos of gold. Okay. Neil. Okay, squad 7 Lancer, age 29, 
a denizen of the capital cities, see the underbelly. His was a solitary life. He remained undefeated through countless turf wars. Killed. Ah, this guy was pretty cool. His hairstyle. He has 7 lands at age 18. An impoverished childhood has driven home the importance of wealth for him, driving him to seek fame and fortune as a war hero. Walter. Squad 7 Lancer, age 33. Contrary to his rough looks, his hobbies include cooking and uh, tending his garden. He often joins Alicia in baking bread on his days off. That's the personnel. Tap select weaponry. Galleon. Okay, so that's the rifle. Team car. It's the like uh, another rifle. The mags. Okay, like so. Team MP. Land car. The lands. ESR. Sniper rifle, a V-type grenade. These are all our weapons. The VB VF, okay. the Edelweiss tank, okay. and the light tank. Ah, it's the enemy weapons too. Here, the tank looks like this. Principal of Galia. Here's some info. Galia's history. Galia's topography. Rule. Capital City Rangris. Don't read all the text. Military headquarters. The Great Vassal Bridge. Europa. Europe in Swedish means Europa. So it's like a different word for Europe. Pretty much. Sweden is using this word for Europe. So. Um, European. Imperial Alliance, Eastern European Imperial Alliance, that's pretty much um, Russia, and the other federation, the Atlantic Federation is uh, like NATO, and and then uh, I believe Gallia is like Ukraine, or one of the Baltic countries, okay, but uh, the troops of the Eastern European Imperial Alliance Look like Nazi troops. <coughs> okay. EC European calendar. First European war. Second European war. Universal conscription. Italian army. Arsenal. Tanks. Ragi. Ragnite. Like minerals. Use of Ragnite. And the uh, lions. Pole. Go 
go to headquarters. Yes, we'll return. Go to the command room. Hello, Welkin. Here to fine tune your squad? Yeah. Oh, and there have been some new recruits. You should take a look at the master list. Good. I need some new ones. This is Evans. Maybe Tails Boar. Okay. with you. I had a total blast. We'll get Susie Evans instead. My name is Susie Evans, sir. I realize I'm inexperienced, but I'll do all I can. Okay. Can't move out Alicia or Rosie or Largo. I believe there is a mod that will allow that and allow the removal of the main character but not this mod, I'm using one of the mods but didn't allow that Come back anytime you need to change your lineup, Lieutenant Sure <laughs> Castle front sand Read the writing on the wall Published regularly. War cemetery and visit the resting place of those who have fallen back. Okay, let's go to the training field. Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots! Train all you want! I've got all day! Level up that unit. Lancers and the engineers and the snipers. The scouts too. Fight the bullet! No pain, no gain! Level up. Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! Session beat a new potential out of the scouts. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the shock troopers. Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order. Put it to good use out there. Land defense boost. This order raises one allies defense. I got no use for tears. Sweat, sweat, sweat. Come back anytime you're ready to sweat. All right. Now let's go to the R and D facility. Welkin, bro! I'm stoked you're here, man. What can I do you for? Outfit tanks.
click there. Soon, bro. I mean it, man. Now let's go to the castle front. Let's go to the side. Hey, Lieutenant. Off duty today? Your timing's perfect. There's something I want to show you. Won't take but a minute. Come on. Ta da! It's the writing on the wall, written and published by yours truly. Hmm? Why do this when I already have a radio news gig, you say? Sure, I could leave it up to the print news guys, but they're all lapdogs. The government censors everything. And not just a little cut here and there. In some cases, they'll bend the harsh truth into candy-sweet propaganda. I'm so sick of it. I want to give my readers the truth. That includes the bad stuff, too. So, this is my brilliant plan. The writing on the wall. Some things are only possible in out-of-the-way spots like this. Out of sight from those government goons. I'll keep this space filled with up-to-date, absolutely factual info. No censorship. And your exploits will feature heavily, I'm sure. So yeah, come by and have a read sometime. All right. Science of Galleon Resistance. An interview given on the 8th. A spokesman for the Central Galleon Armed Forces suggested a massive anti-imperial counter-strike brewing. Should this come to pass, all Eves will be on have a force. It has thus far specialized in retreat can stem the Imperial incursion, claim most of Gallia's Gallia by last month's end, and now stands before the gates. Christ. Okay, don't bother reading this. And while you're here, I want to put a book out someday, right? To put the truth in the hands of the people. But I'm just a radio news grunt, you know? I'll be paying for everything out of my own pocket. So, I figured I'd ask you. Think you could find it in your wallet's heart to help a girl get started? I'd make it worth your while. You guys could feature in the book I write. I still haven't decided what all I want to put in it, but I promise it'll be all about you. See this fat stack of notes? I've got a ton of material already. So how about it? Call it an investment in the future rising star of authordom. <laughs> Thanks a million. I plan on putting out new editions periodically, so drop by to check it out often. Especially after you've made some headlines on the battlefield. That's the perfect time to strike. I'm counting on you out there, Welkin. You need to keep me supplied with exciting material. Or cemetery. Paying your respects? 
Sorry. I suppose that was a foolish question. Actually, no, sir. I'm not here visiting anyone in particular. Oh. Then might I ask what brings you to a place like this? I find it sobering, standing here in front of all those who died in the last war. That and seeing this much death reminds me that humans are just another part of nature. Don't suppose I've ever heard that before. Judging from your clothes, your militia. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther. I'm in charge of Squad 7, Regiment 3. Gunther. I see, I see. Squad leader, hmm. Very impressive for a young man. Not at all, sir. I'm still woefully inexperienced. One wrong order from me and my squad could wind up here. It's a huge responsibility. You respect the weight of their lives. Here, let me teach you a special order. An order, sir? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? <laughs> Just a leftover from the last war. I'm afraid my orders require some experience, though. I can't in good faith teach them to those who lack the maturity to use them properly. Now, let's see. I'll teach you healing request today. Use it to request a medic to heal a single allied unit's wounds. Well, what is your decision? It costs 6,500 experience in order to lay a healing request. You do not have that. I see. I suppose it was too soon for you. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. to the graves of, the, of his fallen Europa World War I comrades this uh, doleful gentleman has begun passing his lay and orders down to Vulcan Kevin square 7 shock trooper age 25 Skittish and introverted, he found interactions with others difficult. He seemed rather uncomfortable with his role as a shock troop. Susie. Super 7 Scout, age 19. Is the daughter of a frontier tycoon. She knew precious little of the ways of the world. Naively paying to this five this tea a single apple.
Okay, we will disappear. So. Squad 7's suppression of the enemy camp on the west bank gave us the foothold we needed. Now we'll join the army's vassal battalion in Operation Cloudburst to take back the bridge. Militia forces will take the point, crossing the bridge and attacking the eastern camp. Captain, crossing that bridge means breaching the enemy bridgehead. What sort of on-site backup and supplies can we expect from the army on this? The plan calls for the army to commence its operation after we've struck the bridgehead. Wait a minute. So we're just being offered up on a platter? I know how you feel. I felt that way when I was a militia foot soldier too. But sometimes being a soldier means taking on tough missions, even dangerous ones. Understood, Captain. I'm not saying you're wrong, Faldio. Breaching that bridgehead by ourselves is... It's going to be tough. Captain Varat, may I go observe the area around the bridge? Observe it? I don't mind, but what do you... Welkin! Sergeant Melkiot, what is it? Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt the meeting. We're finished, it's fine. Now, I assume there's a reason for your visit? Yes, Captain. Welkin, I, I mean, Lieutenant Gunther, the squad, they're at each other's throats. What? Please stop them, sir. I tried to, but they... I couldn't. You want me to break it up? I, I don't know. Maybe it'd be better to just let him have it out. Let them have it out? You can't just ignore them. I'm not ignoring them. I think it's important that they say what they're thinking. Butting heads over differing opinions can be one way to bring people closer together. Well, but... That may be, but I still... Look, you can't just sit here while your squad's tearing itself apart. It's not right. Now get a move on, sir. Hey, I... Alicia? Sounds like he's got his hands full. It's all part of growing as a team. New episode has been added. This episode is... Yes. Okay, what's going on here? You really have to ask, Lieutenant? It's either her or me, pal. Who let her in anyway? You really think I'm gonna work with a dark hair? She'll blow us all up. Besides, I can't stand the stink of her! Her type's got a bad reputation and everybody knows it. No darksons allowed, you hear me? Oh yes, I've heard everything you have to say. But I'm still a human being, the same as you. Besides, no evidence exists to substantiate what you call the Darkson Calamity. It's a myth. Excuse me? So what, you're calling me stupid Stop now? Stop it, that's enough! Okay, boss man. We won't fight alongside no Darkson. What about that, can't you understand? Another thing we ain't doing is taking orders from some hotshot Greenhorn. 
All right, fine. Now listen and listen good. I'll have that bridge back in Galia's hands in 48 hours. Huh? Now if my plan fails, which I doubt, then I'll resign. And Squad 7 will be all yours, Largo. But if my plan works, you'll take my orders and like it. <laughs> Your funeral, boss man. You sure about this? Yes, I am. But... Wait a sec. Welkin? New episode has been added. But some episodes... Some episodes listed in book mode are marked with an asterisk. These are sub-episodes, often telling a side story, tangential to the main plot. For that reason, it is not necessary to view them in order to advance in the game. So there is no penalty for skipping sub-episodes. They often offer a different perspective on the events unfolding in the story you won't find elsewhere. Racing Cloudburst and the crossing of the plant. So go for them. Welkin. Hmm? What's up? What's up? You just made an insane promise, that's what's up. I'm sorry, Wilkes. I shouldn't have argued. This is all my fault. It's nobody's fault, Ys. It's a war. We're all on edge here. And this mission certainly isn't helping. It's little wonder the troops are upset. Yeah? That's why pulling this operation off is the perfect way to bring the squad together. That'd be great if it works. But how can you possibly hope to take back the bridge in just 48 hours? Well, that's the hard part. Aha! Huh? Aha, uh -huh, what? I was hoping, but there they are. Isara, Alicia, think you can do me a favor? Sure, what is it? You follow me? But that's... Is that even possible? Well, Is, think you can make it by tomorrow? Yes, I'll get to work on it now. All right. I'll trust you on this. Thanks, Alicia. Well, let's get started. Episode, yes. All right, let's hear this brilliant plan. And it's too late to back out, boss man. You got that? So let's hear it. We're going to strike the enemy encampment on the east bank. Whoa, hold it. You're asking us to die for you? One squad ain't breaching that bridgehead, buddy boy. That would be suicide. We're not taking on the bridgehead. We're taking on this, the river. We'll use the fog as cover as we cross the river, then launch a surprise attack. Oh, come on. Is this just some game to you, boyo? Swimming a couple of foot soldiers over there ain't gonna do much if we got no tanks. 
Don't worry, I've got that covered. Isara? I fitted the Edelweiss with water-resistant measures to allow for submersion. It will only hold for a few minutes, but it should be enough to cross. Hold on just a sec. Ships come through here. It's gotta be too deep for a tank. We're covered. Look, see that over there? What's that, grass? Missile reed, a tall aquatic plant found in the estuaries of some rivers. I noticed them when I came down to observe the river. This stretch runs shallow. Shallow enough for a tank to drive across. Trust me on this. First, the Edelweiss will cross over and clear out any Imperial patrols on the shore. Then Lieutenant Gunther will send up a flare, signaling the rest of us to follow by boat. Right. Now let's get started. I'll see you on the other side. You hear something? Yeah, I do. What is it? Beats me. Swims just fine. Fall in, Sevens! Thank you for watching, I'm too tired to continue, see you later, bye.